Hi there folks, welcome back episode 5 of the new No Man's Land Hardcore Survival. Here I am, Walter Pete Barnstormer. We are continuing along with our silage here, emptying out the pit. That's another load done. We're up to £20,000 at the minute. 24, 26, wow. 32, <laughs> okay, yeah, the money is absolutely flying in here at the minute. The pit is nearly empty now though. I think this is the last load going in. What do we finish up on here? 39,000? Yeah, that's good money. Good money, we're happy with that. But time waits for no man, so let's get her filled up again. We've got some grass that we've cut here already. We had a bit of chaff that's uh, left over from the last time that we scooped up afterwards, so we'll get that back in again as well. But we also need to progress this series, and one thing we need to do is start creating some fields. Um, it's all well and good cutting up. This is just the meadow grass that we've had since we moved into the plot. But we've got ourselves a cultivator bot now, and the night's getting on, so we'll have a quick snooze and get back at it again tomorrow morning. Now here's the pit. This pit is jam-packed full again. It's amazing how much stuff we're actually getting off the ground at the minute. This, I mean, we've got 34,000 in the bank still at the minute. If we can give another couple of days to ferment this pit again, we're going to be double that. Wow. Okay, this is, this is, this is really starting to take off now. I'm happy with this. It was a great idea of mine getting the silage pit. So there we go, she's covered up again, as you see it's a bit awkward because it all spills out whenever you try to flatten it down and come back in this one, but we got there. So we've hooked up the cultivator going around now and I'll just lay out a couple of fields. Um, this field looks absolutely huge, we surely didn't start off with anything like this in the previous series, I mean this 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 field looks massive. Okay, um, yeah, this is, this is going to be a very good start. We're in what, episode 5 and we're plowing up fields like this? Yeah. That, that, that's tremendous. So we carry on from that, get back to a greenhouse, see what's popped out in that. I do need to get some water, yeah, so I'll install a hose pipe here. That way we can refill our water tanker from that and get ourselves topped up again. And whilst we're here, we may as well take the rest of these sugar beet to get them down to the seals point. Yeah, we don't make massive amount of money, but that's what, a thousand something there? A couple of thousand pounds? Yeah, sweet, I'm happy with that. As I say, every penny counts in this series. Now, because we have kind of progressed on, I don't think we actually need this stuff anymore. I can get rid of the, um, the trailer now, because I've seen this Unimog for sale. So it's a really good looking wagon, and I'm, yeah, pretty happy with that. We'll buy that. We can use it, it's got front and rear PTOs, front and rear three-point hitches, so it's kind of like a mini tractor as well. It's got a bed in the back so we can load things up. Here we go, look at this, she's paying for herself already. Yeah, sweet. Now I'm putting a rule in this one as well, because we've cut down a few trees, and I don't want this to be about deforestation or just, you know, taking all the trees off the map. So I'm going to say, I can only take a tree down if I can plant the tree in its place. So I've got this hand plant mod, buy a few pallets of saplings. And we'll go around, we'll thicken up the forest land that we have here and uh, see if we can get a good, thick, kind of sustainable forest going. Now, I tried messing about with this and could not get it to pick up any saplings at all using the shovel. I wasn't sure if I was doing something wrong or not, so I decided just to leave it for now and go off and look at it again later. thought I'd give the Unimog a trial with this cultivator because, well, it's got front and rear three-point hitches, no reason why it shouldn't, and she pulls it like a dream. Yeah, nine miles an hour, she's limited by the speed of the cultivator, so it's kind of like a mini tractor, really. Now, I did make a bit of a mess of the cultivation here. I drove straight across the track. Uh, you can't really see the tracks on this whenever you're on the ground. I forgot that um, they're slightly overgrown, but if you go into the aerial mode, you can't see them. So I'm going to try and unhash this, really, uh, make it look a bit better again. Now, I'm trying to get some meadow grass back in here as well, but I'm having a really hard time. I can't see the texture, and that's definitely not meadow grass. That's a big bush. And same again, yep, so I'll just make that disappear again. Yeah, that's okay, we'll figure it out. Um, we'll get there eventually. When in doubt, just get the tractor out, stick the cultivator on it, and let's get her plowed up. This is field number two, and already it's looking like another really big field. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we never had things like this before. Another quick nap. 
the nights do start drawing in a bit towards the end of the year. So up early the next morning, what I'll do is I'll start putting in some pathways. So I can see this from the sky. I can kind of go across, get the original roots and things in there. Drive all the way out to the main road. And it was pretty much around this point I realized actually I'm using the wrong texture. I'm using animal mud. <laughs> so I switched that one around, got the dirt in instead. And then went back up to the yard and started putting paths in it. Oh, wow, get out. That's five minutes gone already. Okay, folks, that's us done for today then. Uh, we've had massive progress, loads of money in the bank, new things bought. And we hope we'll see you again very soon. Bye now.